Yeah. You're too okay, aren't you? I know you don't like it, but at least. I know, but let's get down. At least you got shelter. Then the crocodiles will eat us. <laughs> I'm joking, it won't flood, darling. They like the rain. They like the rain. It feels nice on their backs. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. We have just checked out of Cabana Bay, well, we're still here, oh, and we're leaving our baggage, and we're off to Gatorland. Oh look, I'm it's talking to Carl. Sorry, Carl. <laughs> We've just ordered an Uber, and we've got the same guy from yesterday who doesn't speak any English and uses a Google Translate. He's lovely, I think. We've got him again. Anyway, we're off to Gatorland this morning. We've just checked out Cabana Bay. It's been a very hectic morning. I'm trying to finish packing. Yeah, we're on our way now, hopefully. <laughs> Show you what to do. Eve, hey, come on. Basically, away. you make like okay sign, you know, okay, like that. Wrap your hand and you can hold the tail right here, okay? Wrap around just like that. Just nice and easy, but not too hard, okay? And hold his tail, he's gonna wiggle a little bit. He can't bite you, I promise. As long as you're holding like that and you can turn. Don't drop it's a little him. baby. So when they're <laughs> yeah, first born, they're only six inches long, they're tiny. Don't be a face so close. I've seen you. Perfect. Just like that. Oh, oh. Got it, okay? Wow. Are you ready? You can jump off the stool. You got it. Then we'll just have a laugh. Be fine with hospitals. <laughs> Are you ready? Ow. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you good to get it? Yeah. You're on. Okay. Daddy, the cat <laughs> you ready? Alright, set oh. your arms out, four arms out. Yeah. Try oh, oh, go. Flap them like a bird. On, Flap like a bird, that's it. Good like girl. Like you're flying. Like, Ooh, good job, like you're flying. Like you're flying. That's what you're looking at. Oh my god, Jenny. Backwards. Come on. No. You got backwards. Flap like a bird. Come on, Jodles. It's like going forwards, you're just looking the other way. <laughs> you got it? You sure? You're good. You're good. <laughs> you sure? You're good. You're good. <laughs> and then, trust fall. Oh. Okay, woo! What do you think, Frey? Oh quiet. I'll stoke it. <laughs> you wanna, yeah, go ahead, walk in. But he might not stick it out. He's being lazy this morning. Okay, go on. He's still kind of sleeping. He's got the case of the Mondays. I'm out on the days. I'm losing track of the days. I'm losing track of the days, are we? Mm-hmm. 
But if you notice this big guy swimming over here in the water right there, oh, yeah. that big guy, his name is Bean, and he's called a Yakari Cayman. He comes from Brazil. Oh, wow. And he's two years old, but the baby alligators are just a year. Oh, yeah, like More rounded. And then you look at these guys right here. But why does he have a pink These are baby face? Nile crocodiles. Why does he have a pink thing like this? I, I think... That's I just think how he is. I think baby alligators are going to see him. Alright. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, right, Freya, we're going to feed you. Is that okay? There's a turtle. There's a turtle. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. He's moving. He's got the bigger one. What do you say? Oh, yeah. what? what are they doing? What are they doing? They're clapping. Are they? I want to be hubby, hubby, me, and Eva all went on the zip line, which was absolutely terrifying but also incredible. Um, and we've actually been here an hour already. The park opens at 10 o'clock, so um, we were actually there early. But yeah, we're having, oh, it's gone all dark. We're having such a good time already. It's really cool here. Very, very hot. Um, but we've got a tour with a man called Brandon and he is telling us lots of facts and stuff about the alligators that we never knew before. So it's really handy. He's just gone to get some food so we can feed them, which is a bit terrifying. But you're up high, let's see, you're fine. About your toes. Come on in, just go right down there, right along the fence, okay? Lizards, bugs, wasps. You got cats at home, right? You're okay with the cats? Alligators are just like cats. We call them swamp kittens, okay? They really, they really act just like cats sometimes. So. You can see what's coming. Not yet, it's a big one. There you go, whatever hand you want to put it on, okay? What do you think, Eve? zero and accelerate to nine miles an hour. They start at nine miles an hour and they go. But it's that first jump, that first lunge. After that, they lose all the speed.
That's all it is, Freya. It's just the, it's just the car. It's just the car. Oh wow, oh my goodness. Buddy's our largest alligator in the park. Me. No, he said some aren't albino, honey. We're like this with the dark patch, but they have jet black eyes, not the blue eyes. So really, we're we're gonna try and go in. Always oh, moving. Oh. Go on, Carl, you get eaten. Oh, he's moving for you, look. A boxer and a Labrador were three out of the four that he got a hold of. Yep. So he made big news in the area, and a trapper was called out to come catch him. Trapper's called out, and the trapper gets paid by selling the meat and the hide of the alligator. So inevitably, they have to kill the alligator. So we didn't want that to happen to Chester. So we paid the trapper to keep him alive, bring him here to Gatorland. We saved his life. That was 20 years, 1920 years ago. He's a big alligator. Part of the training that we do with him is because he was a wild alligator and he killed a lot of stuff in his territory because he's very territorial. We try to keep that. So what I'm gonna try and do is get him to pop his jaws really loud. So you won't be able to get this on photo. You'll only be able to get it on video, okay? No still shot, all right? But I want to show you how powerful the jaws are because they have the strongest bite of any animal in the entire animal kingdom. So you can- Chester, Chester, smile, buddy. Chester, smile. Oh. Pop right there. Chester, smile, buddy. Smile. That's that hissing. That's typical alligators. Chester, big smile. That's that loud pop right there. So that's about 3,000 pounds per square inch of jaw pressure. So that's how they crush the turtle shells. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Chester, smile, buddy. Chester, smile. Oh. Chester, smile. Oh. So our special VIP Tory thing is now over and we've had an incredible time. My mum has actually just said that it's the highlight of the holiday so far. And it's been incredible. We got to see so many lovely things which you've seen as well because I filmed it all. So cool. <laughs> A lot of you get the 
the higher the gators jump. Yeah. Up, I guess. Come on, guys. You gotta get louder than that. That's the higher the jump. All right, Tim Cooter, you guys are making enough noise. I see a little guy looking up at it. All right, come on, guys. Keep up the noise. Yeah, Bob, it's not shaking it for him. You gotta shake it for him. Yeah, shake it. Let's keep that man applause going for the two thousand show. These high jumping alligators and crocodiles. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. All the water around. Gateland is making it everywhere very very hot and very sweaty it's like humid um, and we're all like all sticky and just uh -huh. gross we're about to go on the train It's really raining, so oh dear, we've hit rain. Oh my gosh! Florida rain. This is the first experience of Florida rain. It's literally the heavens have just opened and it is horrible. Oh, this one's waterproof. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay, stop. It's just a bit of rain. Don't worry about the rain. It's when it floods and they come over the top you got to worry about, okay? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is this our first? Oh my God! <laughs> no screaming! You scared the alligators! This is the first experience of Florida rain. Here go. You know one thing? I'm not sweaty anymore. You're right. We seem to be in the middle of a storm. <laughs> the stuck in alligators. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Can you see the rain? You're too okay, aren't you? I know you don't like it, but at least I know, but let's get down. At least you've got shelter. Then the crocodiles will eat us. <laughs> I'm joking, it won't flood, darling. They like the rain. They like the rain. It feels nice on their backs. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Come on. Come on, look, sunshine's coming. Sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Yeah, beautiful day. Don't go that way. Yeah, it's going to stop tightening in a minute. We've got the clouds. They're moving over to no clouds at all. Ooh, Are we okay, you two? No. What happened, Ellie? Tell us. It's too... It's still warm. It rained! It rained! It rained! Bye bye. It rained, bye bye. It rained. 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 Rain is stopping now, though. Then we can make a move. Daddy, he's still there. He's still there. He's sitting there waiting with us. I think he's our friends now. Yeah. Eve, did you like the soggy experience? Yes. Yeah. No. Did you like the soggy experience? Ellie, Ellie. Did you like the soggy experience? No. No. Freya, 
Did you like the soggy experience? Oh. Alright Gator, did you get wet? How about you? Did you get wet? You? Yeah! <laughs> I got so I got very wet. Wet. Oh, I didn't get drip really from me as well. get wet. <laughs> So we survived the Florida storm <laughs> um, and it's now nice and sunny and hot again. It went down to 22 degrees and now it's back up to 31. So we're just kind of drying out but they're definitely prepared for it here. There's like staff squeegee sponging and wiping all the water away off the paths. It's pretty cool. Enjoying our time here whilst we dry out. <laughs> Alright guys, what type of snake is this? A what? That's right, it's a rattlesnake. That's right, it's a pygmy rattlesnake. Alright guys, does anyone know what this is? It's a wow. Anyone know what kind of snake it is? Yeah, I cut it out. Who said that? Come on down, you want yourself a free snake? No, no, please say that. Alright guys. This is a cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin. Same snake. I've just checked into our next hotel for the trip. We are here for four nights. Two of those nights, as I've said in my other thing, are complimentary and hosted by the hotel themselves. And the other two, we have paid for ourselves. And we've just checked in. There was a massive queue when we arrived, so it must just be peak time, everyone arriving at the airports and stuff. We are on the 11th floor again with an amazing view. This is actually a really lovely suite. This is the biggest place we've stayed in this trip so far, I think. And I'm going to just do a very quick, like, walk through, if I can make it quick, um, so that you can see exactly what was in it. This room is a poolside view room. It's a two bedroom suite. So yeah, I'm gonna take you around. So as you walk in, you've got hubby checking Uber stuff. Um, we've got a little dining area. You've got a kitchen, which has got like a fridge, freezer, and an oven. It's self catering holiday thing, although there are um, restaurants on site. Then you've got a sofa bed, TV, and kind of like a really big living area. I'm going to go this way first because this is huge. This is like the master suite. The bed is giant. TV, little armchair, so you can see how big this room is. And then the best bit, look at this. It's an open plan bathroom. This tub is huge. In here is a massive walk-in wardrobe. You've got a separate toilet, which has got like a sliding door to it. A separate shower include their hair dryer towels as well the this room doesn't come with housekeeping you can ask for it you have to pay for it then out here is like a seating area this bit is terrifying me because Eva likes to climb um, and then you've got the view of the pool you've got a pirate ship and I do believe that underneath this bit here is a bar grill type thing and we've just been to Gatorland so I'm like a bit terrified that there's alligators in this water but it's all fenced off so I'm assuming it's safe so yeah, and this is all part of the hotel too, and those buildings over there, I think the Irish pub is there, the main reception is in this one, and there's also a pool the other side of this building here, another one. A washer dryer, which is very handy, my mum is going to be thrilled about that when she comes down. In this bit, which I'm assuming is where the kids are, have messed up the room already, so I can't show you a nice happy view of it, but um, two double beds they were they were on top as decoration two double beds they've all got tvs um a wardrobe then this way is their kind of like en suite type bathroom it's got a bath toilet towels another wardrobe space and yeah that's it i'll show you in the kitchen quickly 
um, dishwasher, oven, shower, bathroom, etc, etc. I look hideous. I was booked in for a spa at five o'clock today, but because of check-in and stuff, and I just wasn't feeling up to it, I sent my mum instead, and she said it was really, really good. She had a facial, in case she hasn't realised. We have been swimming in the pool here um, for about half an hour. It's quite chilly, actually, but it's, like, shaded in the afternoon. And now we are heading down because there's Pizza Hut here somewhere. We're going to go and find it and have a Pizza Hut, hopefully. I now understand why it's called Village Resort because it's like got little roads and this is all part of the hotel, that's all part of the hotel. We've got an Irish pub here, oh games room there, there's also like Pizza Hut or something, oh yeah I can see Pizza Hut and a convenience store somewhere down there too. So we've had a change of plan, the Pizza Hut Cafe Express was literally just like a, a bit like a McDonald's takeaway and you just there's no seating or anything so we have decided against that we also then were like oh we'll get some hot dogs or some milk and something and get just eat some cereal tonight but the prices in that little convenience store on on site sorry is expensive like so expensive hubby and i are now walking 12 minutes to walmart to grab some essentials carry them back to the hotel behind me look dollars for eight hot dogs five dogs okay five dollars so for like eight tinned hot, ones eight tin basically hot dogs but look um i'll just this show you around well. in a minute we're in like a, a at home it's like a shopping center or a, a what they call business centers where there's lots of different things <laughs> lots of different shops so this is quite a nice place to be samsung timberland gap Gap out. Yeah, all the way over there. I might be able to get my nails done somewhere at some point. Because they are looking gross. Carl's just said I could be a massively obese. <laughs> living in Quite America. Happily, living in there. <laughs> There's so much sugar everywhere. So we have decided to get an Uber back because it was dangerous walking across that road and we also to we wanna buy more. We wanna buy more stuff in here. <laughs> We are back from Walmart with goodies, hot dogs, now he's doing a slideshow of photos. Yeah, 